Hi, it is my privilege to be part of the Learning Planet Festival as we celebrate learning throughout the world. I'm excited to share with you our work on future ready learners. Since the last decade, Singapore and the world are facing fundamental shifts in the economy, society and environment. These shifts define how we work, live and learn. For example, technological advancements globally are reshaping business models where organizations not just compete on tangible products, but are now competing on intangible assets such as intellectual property, data and user networks. On the environmental front, as Singapore becomes more urbanized, more resources such as metal and energy will be used. Metal and energy are limited and depleting resources. Therefore, Singapore must create sustainable practices to use these depleting resources and to reduce carbon footprint. All these challenges have fundamental implications on the readiness of our education system to develop learners. And our education system's purpose is to develop learners for the future. Therefore, it is imperative that graduates of our system must be ready and able to actively co-create the future of our environment, society and the economy. I've led a team to analyse and synthesise extensive literature and reports to answer the following major questions. What kind of economy, society and environment are we preparing learners for? How do we develop learners who are ready to co-create and shape that future together? As a result, we have redefined education as success. Our new definition of a successful education system includes a future dimension timeline. The definition is as follows. A successful education system is able to develop future-ready individuals who will continue to learn beyond graduation, take on future life work, and thrive in a changing society and environment. For the full outcome metrics, I invite you to read the framework which I have posted as a link. Our research team has identified new educational outcome metrics that answer the research questions. And these outcomes are aligned to the future trajectories of Singapore's economy, society and environment. A sample of the outcomes are as follows. Learners who will practice lifelong, life-wide and life-deep learning, embrace innovation, create new value in services and products, internalize intercultural acumen, adopt sustainable lifestyle. With new metrics come the challenge of measures. How do we measure these tangible and intangible outcomes? We employ an advanced technological tool, machine learning in terms of analytic and predictive learning models in order to identify, acquire and analyze a vast amount of data in NIE system. The machine learning model aims to establish relationships among system variables with the outcomes of learning. For example, system variables such as student assignments, portfolios, streaming data, stored data, artifacts, curriculum design, faculty expertise, and etc. We have developed a prototype model to measure ideation in innovation. The model is able to perform natural language processing techniques on texture data. And the texture analysis is displayed as a diagrammatic flow of root words and expansion. It's able to perform sentiment analysis on the identified text and identify keywords that indicate ideation, such as belief, think, what if, propose, opinion, perhaps. We are moving progressively to develop the right models to measure the rest of the outcomes. In conclusion, we are celebrating the initial steps toward ensuring that our education system truly prepare learners who are future ready to co-create and co-shape our planet. Thank you.